The Timberwolves were all business as they came through the tunnel, determined to give their fans a reason to celebrate tonight. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our distinguished analyst, Allie LaForce on the sidelines. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Mike Conley. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. Now let's take a look at the Bucks' opening lineup. The heavyweights for this team, Middleton and Giannis at forward. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Lopez in at the center position. And for the Timberwolves, McDaniels and Towns in at the forward slots. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. And it's Gobert in at the five. All right, Grant, as far as pace of play, these teams both methodical. You know, both teams are methodical and deliberate. I mean, they're comfortable, of course, operating in the half court. And they'll push the ball selectively when those opportunities present themselves. So the Timberwolves win the tip. Conley against Lillard. Over to the wing. Towns outside. Back to Conley. Shot clock at six. Here's the three. The rebound by Beasley. Pass to Lillard. Lopez, the screen on Conley. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Rebound Minnesota. Coming off a win against the Blazers. And most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inward, trusted each other, and made good plays. Yeah, and in that game, it turned into a massive scoring night. It wasn't so much about the, the game plan as it was establishing early confidence to get that win. When Edwards knocks down threes, Ant is pretty much unstoppable. To the middle and count that two points and a chance for one more at the line now that's what i call great basketball finding a way to get all the way inside and that's a, a painted possession right there a masterpiece especially when the defense is not a factor Kind of amazing that Lillard wasn't a big time prospect at a high school Brent. Well, size had a lot to do with that BA, and then Damian Lillard, it's it's hard to scout Will, and he certainly has loads of that. Not many guys have a feel for the game like Dame does. Now here's Edwards. In the game against Portland, very impressive. Fires the three. Anacupo grabs the board. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Lillard passes to Beasley. Anadokounmpo outside. Lopez, the screen. Shot from 12. Rebound Minnesota. They've traveled to Milwaukee last time they faced the Bucks and came away with the win. And they came away with the win because everyone contributed. The starters, the bench, they all played as a unit. Well, the second unit came in last game and just played lights out basketball. I'm sure they'd like to do that again. Shot is good by Edwards. Oh, so smooth inside. Edwards found the opening and exploited it. Lillard against Conley. Lopez, the screen on Conley. For three, here's Lillard. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. The Timberwolves have gone just two for four from the floor. Beasley against Edwards. The shot by Conley. No good. The Bucks trail. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. To the inside. Pass to Lopez. Good. And Anna Kumpo gets the assist. Oh, what a dime there from Giannis. Excellent sharing the basketball. Here's Towns. Edwards, a pass to Towns. Over Anna Kumpo. Towns 
gets the bucket. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Lillard passes to Middleton. Off target with the three. And it's Edwards with the ball for the Timberwolves. It's McDaniels on the wing. Middleton covering. <laughs> no problems knocking that one down. Just a smart offensive player. Conley is aware of when he should look to rise and fire. Woo, I love it. Anadokounmpo finds Lillard. Back to Anadokounmpo. And Conley grabs the miss. Minnesota in the lead. Pass to Edwards. Towns on a screen. From the arc. Rebound by Middleton. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Now here's Middleton. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. On to Kumpo, a screen on McDaniels. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. Minnesota with a rebound. Outside Edwards. That one is off. Some solid D from Beasley. Lillard against Conley. Now here's Lillard. The D's right on him. Lopez, the screen on Conley. For three, here's Lillard. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. It's McDaniels on the wing. Outside Edwards. Pass to Conley. Over Lillard. And that one's good from Conley. Conley's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, this is how Conley plays. Extremely efficient. He just takes what the defense allows. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Beverly, he's checked in for Beasley. And now that we have a break, let's take a look at the league's best rebounders. These are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Second is Rudy Gobert. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. Milwaukee has gone just one of six from downtown. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, what would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. Here's Conley. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Outside Edwards. Shoots. Gets a very good look and converts. Edwards has got seven points. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Ana Kumpo for three. Buries it from three. Now the defense now better pay attention. If Giannis is hitting threes, those pickup points have to become higher. Outside Edwards. Shoots over Beverly. Edwards can't hit. Well, Milwaukee's shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Beverly against Gobert. Now here's Beverly. Tight defense on him. Shot clock at five. Here's Middleton. He can't get it to go. McDaniels with some nice D. Pass to Edwards. Left side Conley. Here's Gobert. Towns outside. Off target from outside. Ana de Kumpo with it. 35 points his last game. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got five rebounds in the game. Edwards looking for an opening. Towns outside. Back to Edwards. Over Beverly. Ooh, and once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Anadokounmpo, the pass to Middleton. Anadokounmpo with it, guarded by Edwards. And Anadokounmpo with the basket, on the assist by Lillard. Anadokounmpo has got seven points. 
And Minnesota calls time here. Well, Brent, when you talk about Giannis Antetokounmpo, still one of the league's elite players. Yeah, unbelievable, B.A., the way he started off his career. You felt like there was an end to his improvement. That hasn't been the case. Just a strong work ethic, his desire to compete every day that he's in the gym, and the guy keeps getting better. That's scary. And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Reed's checked in for Gobert. Anderson comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for McDaniels. And it's Morris in for Mike Conley. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Gallinari comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Here's Morris. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Trailblazers in Portland. Reed to screen on Middleton. Alexander Walker, the pass to Reed. Lillard against Morris. Beverly, a screen on Reed. Here's Middleton. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Chris Middleton can make contributions by using his frame to be a good rebounder. Good effort there. Now here's Reed. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Trailblazers in Portland. And he comes up with a bucket. A minute four left to play in the first quarter. Lillard passes to Gallinari. Now Portis. Reed defending. Middleton from the outside. It's rebounded by Morris. The Timberwolves have got 7 of 15 to find the net. Pass to Reed from 11 feet away. Milwaukee with the rebound. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. Now you can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. And so it's Minnesota with it. Following the score by Milwaukee. And he gets it to go. Oh, that in-between game. The 15-18 footer. The defense will give that to Edwards. And you cannot stop everything. Out to Beverly. Gallinari with a screen on Edwards. Beverly for three. With one on the clock. Good positioning. Anderson outstanding at staying in front of his man and using his length and contesting. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The T-Wolves on top. Up one. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. All right, let's quickly break down the game. What we've seen so far from the Timberwolves, guys. Just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second. Connaughton and Middleton at the two and the three. Danilo Gallinari out there with Bobby Portis. And it's Beverly in at the one. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian. Brooke Lopez, over the course of his career, has become an elite rim protector and also stretched his scoring beyond the arc. His teammate, Giannis Antetokounmpo, said, quote, he competes hard for his team, and he's a big part of who we are. We need him offensively and defensively to be great. Brian? Hey, he's such a key player, Ali. No question. Thanks. The three-point shot changed the game, clearly. But did you see it becoming the centerpiece of so many teams' offense, Brent? I think it was inevitable in a way, B.A., but the Take way it got introduced to the league and the way that the seven seconds or less Phoenix Suns adapted to the three-point line and then eventually what the Rockets were doing, it kind of came in like a flood. And each year we're seeing more and more guys who you wouldn't think should be shooting threes now capable of not only taking them, but making them. And so that goes for every position. That makes the game very dangerous. Both free throws good from Portis. 
A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. You don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Here's Alexander Walker. Yet to see a basket. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Middleton against Anderson. Outside to Gallinari. There's a screen. Over Towns. The rebound by the Timberwolves. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Pass to Morris. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots it from the high post. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Milwaukee in the lead. Beverly, the pass to Gallinari. Oh, it's blocked by Towns! And look at that reach. I mean, Towns just saying no. And the Bucks making a change here. Beasley's checked in. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. Drains the triple. Hey, Beverly's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Towns. Oh, the offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Down low. Here's Portis. And then Portis with the dunk. Gallinari does such a great job of recognizing the floor space. And that time, credit him with the assist. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Towns can't get it to go. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Now here's Morris. He's scoreless. Pass to Towns. And that comes off the assist by Morris. Great vision from Morris makes the next pass. That's what you want. Milwaukee has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. You know, Grant, looking at the Milwaukee Bucks, they play in a sports crazed state in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin definitely loves their football, but Milwaukee also goes hard for their Bucks, which is a big reason for their recent success, B.A. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Some changes for Minnesota. Gobert comes in for Anderson. And Conley subbed in for Morris. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Lillard's checked in. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. Now here's Lillard. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Memphis. He didn't make it all about himself. His passing was sharp, and he kept everyone involved. Here's Towns. Four-point game. Pass to Gobert. Outside Conley. Just five to shoot. Reed with it. With the clock winding down. A slam dunk by Reed. And that really has to lift his teammates' spirits right now. I'll tell you, Grant, these second chance buckets could be what this game comes down to. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. You know, when you look at Chris Middleton, Brent, he's been a competitor every way you slice it. No doubt worked himself into a multiple-time All-Star in the Eastern Conference and one of the most consistent small forwards in the league. Also an NBA champ. I just hope his health can hold out, B.A. That free throw good from Middleton. Well, this is the first of two consecutive games between these teams. These mini-series are becoming a fixture in the NBA regular season. You're right, but it also it adds a real sense of excitement. You know, no team wants to drop two straight games to the same opponent. So the tension is a little higher than usual. 
McDaniels is checked in for Minnesota. Anthony Edwards comes in for Alexander Walker. So many teams out there are trying to find their next Chris Middleton. This is a guy that works hard, always ready to drop a shot or play defense. So it's a switchblade at that wing position. Edwards can't hit. For Milwaukee, they've gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Conley against Lillard. Back to Anadokounmpo. Pass to Portis. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Portis has got 10 points in the game. And so it's Edwards who brings up the ball for Minnesota. Gobert with a screen on Beasley. Edwards with it. Portis picks him up. Gobert against Beasley. Marked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Well, we all know how much teams lean on their shooting guards to score the ball consistently. Here's a look at the two guards who have been filling it up this season. Second is Anthony Edwards. Yeah, the absolute best of the best at the shooting guard position. I mean, they can score the ball and flat out dominate defenses. Well, these are the assassins of the NBA right there. The players who can turn a game on its head when they start to feel it. They are almost always the primary focus of the opposing defense. Connaughton, he's checked in for Middleton. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. To the right side. Towns down low. Anadokounmpo's there. Anadokounmpo with the block. Towns finds Edwards. Goes back up. And he sinks the layup. 11 points in the game. And the focus never broke there for Edwards. Lillard against Conley. Lillard looking around. On to Kumpo, a screen on Conley. And that one's good. Lillard. Smart and aggressive. Lillard repeatedly dominating the pick and roll set. Conley against Lillard. Conley passes to Gobert. Towns for three. Gets it to go. Three makes, nine attempts. Now he couldn't connect on anything from outside in the first quarter, but now he's hit two threes in the second quarter, and he looks much better. Now here's Lillard. He's got five. Pass to Anadokounmpo. It's Portis, high post. Over Gobert. That one rolls around and rims out. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. And the Bucks pushing it up now. And here's Connaughton for three. Minnesota with a rebound. Now Edwards. He's got 11. Over Portis. The rebound by Beasley. The Bucks have gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Portis with a screen on Conley. Tries a 10-footer. Lillard converting inside. Yeah, usually Lillard does damage from way outside, but he can get to the mid-range and score some buckets. And Minnesota calls time here. Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. Brooke Lopez is checked in for the Bucks. Chris Middleton comes in for Connaughton. Here's Edwards. Consistent production from him. Averaging just over 26 a game. To the paint. Lopez with the steal. Ana de Kumpo with it. Wow. Oh, I would love to see Giannis in the dunk contest. Wouldn't that be sweet? And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. One fifty-two left in the first half of basketball. Conley against Lillard. Now here's Conley. He's closely guarded. Inside. 
and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That's on Brooke Lopez. And the stifled tower makes his presence felt on the offensive end. He's really developed an array of moves on the interior. And that one falls for Gobert. Well, Grant, some think of Gobert as just a defensive specialist. But he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how Rudy uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high-percentage shots that come to him naturally. So he hits one of two from the strike. For his career, Gobert's field goal percentage is in the same ballpark as his free throw percentage. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. And not sure what he was thinking there. Minnesota's gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Gobert with it. And Lopez picks him up. Outside Conley. Over Lillard. That one rolls around and rims out. Out of bounds. The Timberwolves will take it. And let's take a look now at some numbers for Damian Lillard. And he's had a rough past five games. He's had trouble finding his offensive rhythm and just hasn't been as effective as he'd like to be on that end. But this is something all players go through, and I'm sure he'll fight his way back. The Timberwolves trail. Here's Edwards. Another miss by Minnesota. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Lillard against Conley. Lillard outside. Six on the shot clock. Fires in the triple. Lillard's got ten points in the game. That's more like it. Rounding into form after a very, very difficult first quarter. Conley against Lillard. Outside Edwards. Pass to McDaniels. And they waste no time getting those three points back. McDaniels got his first three points of the game. They are shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. Lana Kumpo outside. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Lillard can't get it to go. And so it's Milwaukee leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, thank you, guys. Doc Rivers here with us now. Coach, you're ahead at the half. What was the difference? We got stops. We're out running a little bit. Uh, and then we had great spacing against the zone. You know, listen, we start making shots. That always helps. It sure does. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. Hey, folks, welcome to the Halftime Show. A lead right now in this one for the Milwaukee Bucks. This is why coaches tell their guys, always be ready. We're going to need you. Be ready. And you don't always know which games it'll be. But tonight, they needed scoring from their reserves. Good job, guys. It's kept them in the game, but I think they'll have to ride their stars down the stretch. And moving on, let's take a peek at how the East is shaping up here in the midseason. And a look here now at the Bucks. I had them as a top team before the season, and now I'm picking them to make the finals. Tell me I'm wrong, Kenny. You can't, because I'm right. Two plus two is five. Mm, and as much as it pains me, I have to agree with Big Fella. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. And the Bucks with the possession here. Inside, we got Towns and Gobert. Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. And that's the group for Chris Finch as we begin the second half. 
Man, Giannis always plays at a high level, but feels like he's kicking it up a notch here. Conley passes to Edwards. Baseline try, and down it goes. Two points. Edwards got 13 now. Milwaukee in the lead. And here's Beasley. No made baskets yet. Pass to Lopez. Now here's Lillard. Back to Lopez. Five to shoot. Lopez, the screen on McDaniels. Middleton finds Lopez. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. Lopez has got his second bucket on the night. Gobert with a screen on Beasley. Edwards, the pass to Gobert. And Gobert with the stuff. Yeah, great play from Edwards off the pick and roll. Moving the ball around and get another guy a shot. Conley against Lillard. Beasley outside. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the long J. Beasley's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Beasley's gone one of two from beyond the arc. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. After their big trade with Rudy Gobert, it's taken a while for the Wolves to gel. Gobert said, quote, it just comes with the time and trust. Basketball is never perfect, but we can punish all kinds of defenses by making the right play and finding the open man. With that mindset, we are going to keep getting better. I'm confident in our abilities. Brian? Well, that, that's the way you have to look at it, Allie. Thank you. Well, great start. Check that box. They've made their first four shots, guys, and the offense looking very fluid right now. Outside Edwards for three. Getting it to fall there. He's 8 of 15 in the game. One of the league's better floor generals, really over the last decade. Conley plays with an old-school pass-first mindset. Now here's Lillard. Ten points for him. Two points. That one goes. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. Conley against Lillard. From 13, again the Timberwolves score. Now this is just too easy for Conley. The D can't allow him to get this close to the basket. Conley against Lillard. Three-pointer. And another three for Milwaukee. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. Yeah, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Now here's Lillard. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest of the game. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Edwards against Beasley. The rebound by the Bucks. Adana Kumpo has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pass to Beasley. Now Lopez. Middleton from the outside. Knocks it down from distance. Middleton's got nine. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Outside Edwards. Launches the three. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Antetokounmpo's got rebound number nine. Whoa! Giannis with a showstopper! Yeah, he might not be the biggest guy out there, but he's willing to rip that rim off. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Timeout, timeout. Timberwolves. Down by 15. Timeout call. The Timberwolves. Anderson's checked in for McDaniels. All right, let's take a glance at which two guards have been shooting the ball the best from outside the arc this season. In the third spot, Malik Beasley. These long-range shooters almost always have the green light because uh, they're just so accurate. Well, they're not players who run hot and cold. It's just hot when they're behind the arc, and if any of them do suffer from a cold stretch, it never lasts long. Shoot yourself in, then shoot yourself out.
Gobert finds Anderson. Outside Edwards. Back to Anderson. Pass to Edwards. Edwards is doubled. Now here's Towns. Connolly with the ball. Clock at six. And the ball out of play. The Bucks will have it. It's February. Let's see how things are shaping up in the East. You take a look at the Bucks. Now in second, they look to be in terrific shape moving forward. Well, I think for Milwaukee, they just have serious hopes for the outcome of this season. They're focused on putting up a banner. A massive amount of confidence, tremendous swagger with this team, and they believe in themselves. That might be all it takes to get them where they want to go. Now here's Middleton. He's got nine. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. The rebound by the Timberwolves. You know, he's usually very reliable from out there, but tonight it's just not going down. To the wing on the left. Lillard against Conley. Pass to Anderson. To win the cold spell. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. This defense gets a lot scarier when Lopez is blocking shots. Here's Lillard. On to Kumpo for three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Conley against Middleton. Here's Gobert. A reliable offensive contributor. Putting up almost 14 a game. Out left to the wing. Towns for three. They get it back. And he can't jam it through. This one for three, and Middleton gets the three. Middleton's got six points in the quarter. And a nice bump for their offense this half. Now shooting over 50% for the game. And the Timberwolves call time here. Wow, Damian Lillard really having a great game. And a smart move here, talk things over. He's really eating them up, and they've tried a few different looks defensively, nothing quite getting it done. Beverly, he's checked in for the Bucks. by Middleton. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Lillard finds Beverly. Pass to Lopez. And here's Lillard. Here he goes. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Lillard's got 17. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Bucks. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Now here's Lillard. 17 points in the game. Beverly is screened on Conley. A three, here's Lillard, and it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, there's the alley! Anderson can't get it to go. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He's just, oh man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. On to Kumpo. It's wide right, hits off the rim. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Edwards, the pass to Conley. Here's Towns. Rebounded by Lopez. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. You know, after all these years, Britt, is it possible that Brooke Lopez is still getting better? Well, this guy is going to be the study BA of some research papers in the future. How do you go from a post-up big man to a legitimate three-point threat in the arc of a career. He's been amazing. Now here's Towns. Give him eight. Just five on the clock. Towns on a screen. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Gobert, no good. And Milwaukee shooting nearly 60% from the floor in the third. Here's Anadokounmpo. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. 
Rudy Gobert picks one up. Well, an aggressive attempt at Kubo is a good thing for this team. Taking it in with force to the rack and getting the foul. And he knocks down the first one. How is it that Giannis always seems fired up? I mean, this guy has a true enthusiasm for the game and for competition. He just delivers night in and night out. That's what makes him a star. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Connaughton comes in for Lillard. off on the second. Minnesota has gone two for five from three since halftime. Edwards finds Morris. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Morris has got his first bucket in this one. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Here's Portis for three. Doesn't fall. Now four for six. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. And they double up Edwards. And the foul on Patrick Beverly. That's his first foul. A different look for Milwaukee. Gallinari, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Beasley has subbed in for Connaughton. Twenty-three seconds left in the third quarter here. Anderson inside. He's covered by Gallinari. And he converts the layup. Anderson's got five points in the quarter. Now here's Middleton. Twelve points for him. There's the triple. It's not going to go for him. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. Well, when you win the battle of turnovers, you typically win the battle of possessions. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. moment ago head coach Doc Rivers in the huddle Doc, we're still in this just cut it a little bit all right just keep cutting all you got to do is keep cutting the lead right here okay. Doc Rivers not looking to get it all back at once but still with a definite sense of urgency yeah you want your guys to feel comfortable enough to take their time and run their sets but you can't afford to let this game get too far away from you well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Taking a look at the Bucks, Danilo Gallinari out there with Pat Connaughton. Then it's Bobby Portis. Then there's Damian Lillard. And it's Beasley in at the two. Well, the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. Now here's Towns. Nice move. And it's good on the layup. Towns has got five points in the quarter. Nice positioning and footwork on point. And Towns so smooth down there inside. Lillard passes to Portis. Pass to Connaughton. Beasley outside. That went a little long. And here's Morris. He'll bring it up for the T-Wolves. The one thing coaches have always loved about Monte Morris, he really takes care of the ball, Brent. Yeah, an incredible assist-to-turnover ratio throughout his career. He doesn't put up huge assist numbers, but I think coaches love the fact that when Morris is on the floor, he's going to make solid decisions to put your team in the right place to succeed offensively. Free throw good for Morris. And Morris is the kind of guy who occasionally you trust him to run the offense through, and you hope he avoids mistakes. It's 
So hits one and misses one at the line. For Milwaukee, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Lillard against Morris. The three. Lillard! What'd you expect? This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Here's Alexander Walker. He's guarded by Beasley. Five on the clock. Morris for three. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Out to the right wing. The shot. Here's Portis. Nice D from Reed. Yeah, better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Conley's checked in. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Conley against Lillard with a step back. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Here's Alexander Walker. Reed finds Conley. Reed to screen on Beasley. And it's Towns with the power finish. And this is the chemistry Towns has with his guys. He recognizes when to go for alley oops. I love it. Pass to Portis. Back to Lillard. Hits the trifecta. Lillard's got 16 in the second half. When this guy starts hitting threes, watch out. He's just pouring it on this half. Conley passes to Towns. Back to Conley. Six to shoot. On the wing, Alexander Walker. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. Conley's got four assists now tonight. To the inside. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Yeah, Lillard has a talent to move the ball. He's developed those sharp instincts. Conley against Lillard. Conley passes to Reed. Shoots over Portis. Reed can't hit. Well, it's one thing to play good defense, but then to alter the shot and get the rebound, that's a good day's work. Pass to Lillard. Takes a three. Reed with the rebound. The Timberwolves have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Here's Alexander Walker. From outside, off the mark. Outside, Gallinari. Out to Portis. Unloads. And he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. All game long, he's been getting to his spots. And the defense has yet to adjust. Minnesota has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Conley passes to Towns. Doesn't go for him. Great D that time from Gallinari. Pass to Lillard. Now here's Portis. Great look there, but off target. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now here's Towns. Outside Conley. Here's Towns. From downtown, the Timberwolves again can't hit. Lillard with the ball. Over Towns, and Lillard gets it to go. Lillard's got 11 points in the quarter. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. Outside, Anderson. Double team on Towns. Fade away, and that one drops for him. And Towns can make this shot in his sleep. It's something the defense must guard closely. Timeout called, Milwaukee. And I heard Giannis Antetokounmpo say he would have loved to go to your alma mater, Grant, because of all the tall and skilled players that have come out of Duke. You know, B.A., I'm not sure he mentioned me on that list, but certainly nice to hear that from Giannis. 
now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Damian Lillard. Think about this. He has owned this game from start to finish. Wow, so impressive. The defense literally looked helpless trying to stop him out there. He has been far and away the best player on the court, and it's not close. Well, they were coming off two straight losses, and he put his foot down. He stepped up his game, had a big night, and got them moving in the right direction again. Now Lopez. Back to Lillard. Pass to Middleton. Four seconds left. Lopez can't hit. For Minnesota, they've got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Edwards misses off the left iron. And so Ana Nakumpo will bring it up for the Bucks. They led the game at one point by 20. And the shot's good. Lillard's got 13 points in this quarter. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Pass to Towns. Towns is screen on Middleton. Outside McDaniels. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. Sinks it. What range from downtown. Milwaukee has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Middleton against McDaniels. Pass to Lillard. That one drops for him. Lillard's got 32 points. Yeah, no matter the situation, you know Lillard is going to show up in the box score. One of the best scores I've seen. Outside Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Beasley. Edwards finds Gobert. Yep, count it. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. Milwaukee in total control. A minute 53 left to play in the fourth quarter. Pass to Lopez. And here's Lillard. He's guarded by Conley. The shot by Lillard. No good for Minnesota. They've gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Conley passes to Towns. And for the players coming into the league, potentially set for life. But there are pitfalls you have to look out for, Grant. So true, B.A. I mean, it's tough. You can't take all your childhood friends along for the ride with you. You've got to be cautious with new acquaintances, so it'll definitely keep you on your toes. You must make great decisions. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Bucks. And it seemed like steals ended up making the difference in this game. No question. Their ability to force mistakes and turn them into points gave them an upper hand tonight. And this victory will put them at 36 wins on the year. After losing the first game, they've come back and even things up in this one. They'll play one more time in this season series after this. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Damian Lillard. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. Now here's Lillard. Here's Middleton. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And Middleton kept working and working, did not quit on the play, and that forced the defense into a foul. And the first one at the line is good. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Reed to screen on Beverly. Pass to Reed. Fader on the way. It's hauled in by Portis. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. So this one belongs to the Bucks. 
To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? Giannis, that was a lockdown defensive effort. What sets you guys apart in that regard? We just uh, have that individual pride. Like, we don't want our guy to score on us. And at the end of the day, we know that somebody else is going to have our back. So we just got to go out there, try to be active, try to get in passing lanes, try to rebound the ball. And uh, we got a guy like Brooke that is doing a great job and he's helping everybody defensively. That pride showed tonight. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Damian Lillard. Station.